Viscom's redesigned 2D Studio is now available, enabling a more seamless experience with Workbench, allowing you to explore at scale and effortlessly transition to detail work. Now, when you click on a file from the file manager, the file will open up in a Workbench format by default. Simply double click on an image to open it up in the new 2D Studio. You'll notice a whole new revamped interface. Let's take a look around to see what we've updated. We've relocated the brush tools in the top center to be closer to your canvas. Over on the right, we've dedicated the whole side to the Create panel. As before, this is where you can render and refine your images and adjust their settings for style, reference image, drawing influence, and the number of images you want to generate. Below the Create panel, we've added a new full screen option, which hides any panels you may not need while sketching or presenting. You can also find the fit to screen, zoom controls, and help menu here as well. On the left, we've created a whole new dedicated layers panel. You can now work on compositing layers with even greater control while you create. In addition to this, we've added some powerful features to Viscom that can be found right within the layers panel. The first is the ability to convert any layer into a 3D model. Viscom can now take a 2D image and convert it into a 3D model. Simply click on the right side of a layer and choose Generate 3D Model from Layer. Viscom will isolate the core idea of the sketch from the background and create a 3D model from the sketch and place it on a new layer. For best results, we recommend using side profile views with this function. You can adjust the scale and angle of the model using the bounding box controls and the 3D cursor. And because this is a layer, you can use it in the same way you would use any other layer, with the ability to duplicate it, move it, merge it, and even change its opacity in blending mode. You can reposition the model and use it as an underlay to sketch over, or directly create a rendering of it. Once your model is generated, you can export it out as a GLB file to continue to use it in your workflow. This is just the start of Viscom's 2D to 3D workflow. We have a lot more planned around this. The next new function you can find in the Layers panel is the option to duplicate a layer to your workbench. This way you can easily create a new file with its own layer stack to potentially explore another direction. No need to download and re-upload the image. Your file will be neatly placed right within Workbench. Below the Layers panel, you will find an all new dedicated History panel by clicking on the small clock icon. This will expand the history panel, which will show you any previously generated images. Clicking on any image will show the image full size on the canvas. If you want to add it to the canvas, simply click add. You can also download the image by clicking the download button. But we've taken the history function one step further. Now, when you click on a preview of an image in history, the prompt, style, an image influence will be preloaded on the Create panel. If you want to reuse those settings, simply click Apply Settings at the bottom of the Create panel, and the settings will be preloaded and ready for you to reuse. To hide a history preview, simply click on the thumbnail again, or tap Escape. We've also updated the design of our Image Generation Preview Bar, enabling you to download a preview right from the bar and add images to your layer stack. You can still hide the preview and regenerate images from the bar as well. When it comes to exporting your work, we've added two new options. You can now create a time lapse based on your layers that looks like this. And you can export any 3D models you may have generated in a single zip file. Once you are done creating, you can exit 2D Studio to go back to Workbench by double tapping anywhere outside of the canvas or by clicking the X button at the far right of the tools bar. This is just the start of a new creative experience within Viscom. As always, if you have questions or feedback, don't hesitate to reach out using the send feedback button. We're really excited to see what you'll do with Viscom's new 2D Studio.